this Love Your Heart segment is sponsored by Mercy Health. Your mother always told you to eat your fruits and veggies, but is there really a benefit to such a diet? What does it really do for your body and specifically for your heart? Mercy Health dietitian Jeanette Wade is here to explain. Good morning. Good morning, Catherine. So is it true that fruits and veggies are good for the old ticker? Absolutely. There are so many benefits of fruits and vegetables. There's over 200 antioxidants in fruits and vegetables, and they're protective. They protect our health. And people don't realize that the more you eat with them, they're like your medicine. Mm. And so take your medicine. That's okay. So, but I feel like there's a lot of different messaging about how many servings, how much we should be, be having each day. Give us the, the, bottom line on that. Okay, so minimum you want five fruits and vegetables a day combined. Okay. Maximum you could go above nine. The American Cancer Institute recommends actually more like nine. So more is still good as long as you're not putting ranch dressing and cheese sauce and gravy on your vegetables because mm. again that would add calories or yeah. lots of sugar to your fruits. And a standard serving I have on the coffee table here is not a large portion. If yeah. you really love your fruits and vegetables, it's extremely easy to get five in. In fact, we say a piece of fruit the size of a tennis ball, like that apple, is one serving. Yeah. And generally, you go to the grocery store, if you pick out your apples, they're usually double that size. Yeah, nowadays, boy, they're really... Yeah. Big. And then your vegetables, I have some legumes and I have some green beans and a sweet potato, just a half a cup. And you'll, you'll see, it's just about the size of my palm. And it's very easy to get a half a cup in, I think. And of course, the coloring of the, the veggies and the fruits kind of bring different benefits along with Absolutely, them too, right? Absolutely, yes. You have your beta carotene in your orange fruits and vegetables, like apricots and sweet potatoes and winter squash. And then you have flavonoids, like in your purple grapes and your beets and your blueberries. So you want a variety of fruits and vegetables, and they say to eat the color of the rainbow. Okay, get a little bit of everything. Okay, now give me also the bottom line about frozen and canned. Are those the same as eating fresh? Ironically, people think fresh is healthier. That is not true. What? Frozen and canned tend to be healthier because they're harvested at their peak, and so their nutrients are preserved. If you're getting fresh, how fresh is that, Catherine? <laughs> Where did that banana come from? Right, true. Where did that strawberry come from? Did it come from California? Did it come from Texas? Did it come from Central America? Has it been transported by truck, by train? Mm. Every day it sits in that vehicle or in that transporting vehicle, it is losing nutrition. So, and traditionally do the things that get canned or frozen, they get, have that happen to them at the peak of That's their- That's correct. That's Got it. correct. I think the biggest issue is salt with canned vegetables, yeah. but you can buy them no salt added. Mm -hmm. Mainly, most of your canned fruit has no salt added. You have to look at the sugar content. And frozen, the same rule applies. There's usually not any added salt to your frozen fruits and vegetables. Sometimes I see on canned fruits, though, syrup, like it might be packed in syrup, but you can get it not yes. in that syrup. get it right? in its own juice or white grape juice. Yeah. I know you have some good tips for kind of sneaking these in in unexpected ways, too. If you can't put a, a pile of beans on your child's plate to get him or her to eat them, you've got some ideas. Yeah, so one of the favorite foods in America is pizza. Yeah. And we can eat a healthy pizza. We don't have to put all the fatty meat on it and the heavy cheese, and we mm -hmm. can do a whole wheat crust. The tomato sauce is very high in lycopene, so put a lot of tomato sauce on your pizza. Mushrooms is a vegetable. It's very nutritious. Peppers, onions, artichokes, spinach, broccoli. Um, spaghetti is another favorite in America. Mm -hmm. Why not in your spaghetti sauce put some grated carrot, put your mushrooms, your peppers, your onions. And soup, we're entering soup season. Yeah. Instead of just having noodles in your chicken noodle soup, can you put peas, can you put carrots, mm. can you put potatoes, can you put onions, mushrooms, celery? And what about meatloaf? How do we make our meatloaf? Just eggs and cracker crumbs? Would you consider grating in a carrot, pepper, celery, onion, a potato? Lots of good ways to yes, sneak them in there. sneak them in. All right, get those servings. It'll do your heart and the rest of your body good. If you'd like to learn more about the cardiac programs at Mercy Health, you may do so on our website. Go to WZZM13.com. You'll find it there. Good to have you here. Thank you.